Kevin! Can look closer yeah. if you can. Just because my arms aren't that no, you're fine. That long. It stands out to you when you pop on Colorado, and especially the defensive front, I guess. Uh, can you say it again? What stands out on Colorado's defensive front when you put on the film? Oh, uh, that game, they do a lot of twisting and movements. So, you know, it's, it's, that's kind of difficult to handle, but I feel like I will line up and be prepared for it. Yeah, I was going to ask you just about that offensive line. It's a lot of new faces up there. Not players that you haven't played with necessarily, but just different groups together. How do you think they've come together and, and performed so far? Well, I think they're very well connected. So, I mean, you know, chemistry always makes people play better. And to be honest, we've got some legitimate dogs on our O-line, so I think they're ready. How does, I mean, some of those guys aren't, and you mentioned that they're well connected. Like, just as a team in general with a lot of new faces. How do you think the chemistry is across the board just with new players that have joined? Well, I think it's good. I mean, Coach Landon do a, does a great job with us, like in the off season, like getting us out together, doing team bonding events. And I, I really feel like we use that to our advantage and really got to know each other. So like when the season come around, we all, everybody on the team know everybody. So, yeah. Jordan's emergence, what's impressive, he's played a little bit, maybe a different role this year. What have you kind of seen from him? And Oh, he's talking about Jordan James? Oh, yeah, that's a dog right there. You know, he got a very, very bright future ahead of himself. He keep his head on straight. I can't wait to see what he's going to do, to be honest. You, sorry, how do you three, you, Bucky, and Jordan, you've all extensively played this season. How much has that helped you just stay fresh and, and make bigger impacts this, in this season? Well, I feel like, like you said, stay fresh. So, like, after the games, you're not really as beat up, you know, so, like, that also – carries over to the next week so we're able to practice you know and not be going through practice banged up as much and getting quality reps. Is that different from last season? Uh, so so more so because Jordan is playing more and he's doing a, a great job and I'm happy that he's doing a great job because I feel better you know right. like so yeah. What is it about him that makes him so talented like what instincts or? Uh, his first step his burst is crazy he has very strong legs. You should see him squat someday. <laughs> yeah. 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 Does he have you in that department or no? Uh, we equal, equal, but I'm older, so. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. How would you just describe the mood in the locker room right now, and why do you think that mood is? Um, energetic, of course, because of the game that we have coming up, but also that's just who we are as a team. You know, we try to take everybody as seriously as we can because you never want to underestimate your uh, opponents, and you know, not saying that. We have in the past, but we don't want to lose. So, how important is this game that it's it's here in Austin Stadium? Uh, just as important as if it was in Boulder. We don't want to lose. Yeah. Between the three of you, uh, how do you feed off each other's strengths in the running back room? Well, of course, Bucky is the energy guy, so like he get us turned before every game. You know, he gonna start to drive off. He gonna do a phenomenal job, and once you just see. Your brother in there doing a great job. It, it fuels you on the sideline. So when it's your turn, you have your opportunity to go out and ex excel. What's the craziest thing you've seen him do, maybe in the practice that other people haven't seen? Have you seen like he said, does some stuff in games, Bucky, mm -hmm. that are just really impressive? Are there things in practice maybe we're missing? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, his hands, for sure, and the fact that it's like when he run the ball, it's kind of like playing two hand touch. Can't touch him. <laughs> Can't touch him. How much of an emphasis is it? from Coach Locke that I think all three of you guys, you seek out contact and fall forward. It's very rare that you guys ever fall backwards on tackles. And How much is that an emphasis? How much do you guys take pride in that among your, you know, your running back room? Well, you take on the mentality of your coach, and we all know how Coach Locke is. So I think that kind of like answers did you watch film from him when, when he was his playing days? Is he showing you that? I mean, what kind of a running back was he? He always tell us about he had 100 yards receiving, 100 yards catching in the same game. He, he ain't broke out the tape yet. So <laughs> we still waiting on that. You know, I, I'm waiting to see it myself. So. No turnover so far this year for you guys. How big of, how big of a factor is that in your success? Uh, that's what we pride ourselves on. Like Owning the ball, that's kind of like a sin, putting the ball on the ground. And knock on wood, we we, we – don't want to put the ball on the ground. Like, don't want to put the ball on the ground. Yeah. Big emphasis, I know, has been from going from good to great. And how close do you really think this team is to really being great at this point uh, in the season? I think that, I mean, we we have we on the way to being great. 
I feel like we have a lot that we can improve on, especially as far as like DBOs, uh, which is don't beat ourselves penalty, penalties. Um, but I feel like we got a very great chance to be great. We just got to stay focused and keep buying into what Coach Landon is preaching to us. Yep, y'all have a great one.